talk about derating. Derating a conductor. Why do we need to derate a conductor? Well, one thing you need to understand that in electrical, heat is our enemy. We have to do everything we can to displace that heat. Use a bigger conduit, run less wires, maybe run a bigger wire. Uh, we have to do everything we can so that electrical system runs smoothly. One thing you have to remember is that as long as you look in the code book and you follow what Article 310, 15B16 will allow you, um, you'll be in good shape. You have to remember that if you do not follow, you also need to find derating with the adjustment factor in Article 310, 15B3A. Okay, so do me a favor. If you're watching these videos, open up your code book. It's okay. You can pause me for a minute. I'll be all right. Okay, now that you've opened up your code book and you're looking at 310.15b3a, you're seeing that it basically tells you if I have four, con four conductors, I need to derate it to 80%. If I have 10 conductors, I need to derate it at 50%, and so on and so forth. So by following this and understanding how to use this, you'll be one step closer to sizing a perfectly sized wire. So what do we do? We go to 310, 15, B, 16, and we size, we're gonna be looking for a size THWN, which you'll find in the 75 degree column, okay? We're gonna look for a number eight, so let's do this. We're gonna write on the board, THWN, it's going to be in the 75 degree column. And we're going to size a number 8 conductor. Now, insulation type is important. You have to understand, whatever type insulation you're, in, you're installing, your amperages are going to change a little bit. So make sure you understand the difference between THHN and THWN and what they're, what they're used for. Uh, maybe we'll explain this in another video, okay? Always love new ideas. So let's look at this. If I have four conductors in a conduit, okay? So I'm taking four, number eight, THWN wires, and I look into 310.15B3A, I look for four, I'm going to see four to six, and that's going to tell me that I can derate, I have to derate up to 80%. So what am I going to do? I'm going to multiply this by 80%. So what do I do? If I look into 31015B16, THH, THWN in the 75 degree column, if I go down to a number eight conductor, it's going to tell me that I, have, I can use 50 amps. So I have 50 amps, I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.80, and that will give me 40 amps. That means that those four conductors running in that conduit is now only rated for 40 amps, not 50 anymore, because remember, 50 is perfect world scenario, no load. It can hold up to a load of 50 amps, but remember, as we start filling that conduit up, it starts to take space. So we have to make sure that we understand, I have to derate after I get past three conductors. Remember, we're only talking about current carrying conductors. The grounding conductor is not a current carrying conductor. So any current carrying conductor has to be counted, okay? So, now that we understand that, we take our four conductors, we take our THHN, we know that it's 50 amps, we take it at 80%, and now our conductor is good, okay? So now, we may have to upsize, we may have to go to another size wire. We, if, I, if I need 50 amps, if it's only rated for 40, I'm going to have to bump up a size or two, okay? This is something we'll talk about in other videos.
Let's do another example. Let's stay with the same conductors. Okay, let's stay with the same conductors. What we're going to do is now we're going to put it in a conduit because now there's 10 number 8 th w n if i have now 10 conductors in that when i go back and i look at 31015b3a that's going to tell me that now i have to take it at 50% Now, I have to do the same thing I did for 80%, but because I, I went from 4 conductors to 10 conductors, that 80% now dropped to 50%. So, I still take my 50, I multiply it by 5, 0, and 50 times 0.50 now gives me 25 amps. It's 50% of it. Derating conductors is something everybody, every electrician has to do. We have to know the difference. We can't just run three-quarter conduits everywhere. We can, but it gets expensive. We're going to have to learn that if I have a one inch conduit and I have a few different circuits in it, that means I'm going to have multiple current carrying conductors in it. We have to size them correctly. Heat is, is the enemy. Heat is the enemy. There's, there's no other way around it. It's an electrician's nightmare. We spend 75% of our time trying to dissipate heat. If we follow the code book and we follow it to a T, we can do one of two things. We can make sure that we have an efficient installation process and we never have to go back. Why? Because if you size a conductor correctly, you never have to worry about it. Okay. Again, I hope this video made some sense. If it did, do me a favor, hit me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe because I want to keep you up to date with the latest and greatest at Craig Mashad Electrical Instructor. Have a great day. Be safe.